Back to Sad Onion. Today we're going to make a Memphis style chicken barbecue sandwich. Uh, so I'm going to pound out our chicken here just to make it a little bit easier to cook. And then I'll also probably cut them in half because the buns I have are pretty low. So what we're going to do, uh, where did I put my, there it is. Uh, so like your prom date after party, we're going to pound the shit out of this with no regard for physical safety or uh, pleasure. So, get a heavy pan and just make sure you move it. I don't have a tenderizer. This works just as well. And then we're going to put this in a brine solution, which we'll talk about once I'm uh, done counting all of these out. But as you can see, a little bit thinner. And uh, we're going to do that to all the ones that I have in here. So, we'll be right back. Make the brine solution. There's some uh, black vinegar in there. And we're going to do some salt, obviously. Probably won't need a whole lot of salt because the black vinegar is like soy sauce. Which is why I was using it. Is I like to keep things sodium free. We are going to use some... Sugar, this again, this is going to be a uh, barbecue. So we're gonna kind of make a barbecue solution for this to sit in overnight. And uh, that'll be good. So we'll just uh, get that all in. And then I will uh, throw in our mixtures. Just a little bit of salt. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands real quick so I can get everything situated. I know people hate that, but we're not professional here. Maybe we should be after this vlog, but if you want professional, go wash up at mealtime. Do the same fucking breaking episode. Not that I'm any better. Obviously, uh, you know, 30 different Big Mac variations, so. Shots fired at your mealtime, I guess. So we're going to do some black pepper. And we're going to do some chili peppers, or chili powder, sorry, and some cumin. And I'm going to do some sriracha. And here's some onion. We'll also do some mustard. Cumin. There we go. And just a little bit of stretch for a little bit of heat. And garlic. And like I said, we're going to let that sit overnight. I'm going to mix this up. And uh, we'll be back for the dredging process. So, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. So we are back. Bun. Uh, it's gonna be a little cluttered, so I didn't I didn't toast it. I didn't really feel it was necessary. Um, so we're gonna just do this is a sweet baby rays, which is a Memphis style barbecue. I wasn't gonna tr test my trust myself to make one authentic, so I'll just give it a nice slather. Uh, you can kind of see the chicken and how it came out. Actually, pretty nice. Um, I actually mixed the. Wow, I just played with the name. I mixed our sauce in, though we let it sit on, in, in under 24 hours. Uh, so that should uh, flavor it. Uh, true story, I've already tried it and it's delicious. Uh, the vinegar really comes through, so it kind of gives it a, a nice sweet sour spice to it, which I like. Others might not like quite how how vinegary it is, but uh, I like my, my barbecue sauce vinegary. So it's kind of just like created a barbecue shell around it. So we have our sauce, obviously. We're going to do bacon because this is America. Put 
damn right. And then this is the bottom, so we'll slap our, our chicken. That actually fits fairly nicely. And then we're going to put some coleslaw up on this. And we'll probably cut it in half so it's a little easier to manage because these buns are kind of long. It's going to be a bit messy, but that's how barbecue should be. And I'll just eat the rest of the, the coleslaw that we've made. There you have it. Fairly easy. There we go. And uh, we'll cut it in half. And uh, there you have it. So we'll uh, get a nice screenshot of that. And then we'll eat. And I'm looking forward to that. We'll be right back. Uh, let's, uh, let's bring that down a little bit. Come a little bit closer to my level. That one's to my level. Uh, so I'm actually really excited for the bite I'm about to take of this. There may be a little bit of squirting on like your prom date. It's a little messy. Not as messy as I thought. But oh man. It came out really well. The uh the sourness of the dough batter that we used really complements all the spices that are in there plus the barbecue sauce They're just like a just a melding of a really good barbecue sauce and then you get that buttery still a little sour sweet from the coleslaw dressing and there's a nice crunch on there um, I probably could have toasted this bun I know the bacon is superfluous it's there for good flavor Yeah. A plus sandwich. I need a napkin. Yeah, really good. I think I'm gonna every time I make a marinade like that gonna go into a batter of some kind. It's perfect. It's everything that I want. Ah, oh, there's that vinegary. I said I really like vinegary barbecue. Um, I really like a nice rich sourness. I know I've used that word like a dozen times today in this episode, but um, I don't know. Spicy, sour, sweet. All those character uh, profiles are just really what I like in any kind of cooking, but especially barbecue. So now, I know kind of what I want to do with my next barbecue sauce and keep on working on that. And uh, maybe we'll do that for an episode and do like barbecue ribs or something. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.